Okay, welcome back. Now, I realize that I'm throwing a lot of information at you in this part of the course uh, when it comes to the customer itself. Um, and that you may well be feeling a little bit overwhelmed, a little bit confused, maybe you can't see how this all kind of comes together. All right, but don't panic, bear with me. When we actually get into the creation of the ads themselves, this is gonna to start to crystallize, all right? You know, just, just accept what I'm telling you at the moment. Um, you know, make sure you understand it at the sort of the highest level. Don't worry about getting too much into the details. But the last part I wanna talk about is what uh, I find another very useful part of this process, okay? And I promise you it's the kind of the last piece of the jigsaw, the main jigsaw at least, is what um, I call buyers and communities. Now, in the last slide, we were looking at the audience insights tool. And, you know, if you've clicked around in there, you're gonna see uh, you know, all these, we were looking at all these different likes, that the pages that people like. Um, and there are thousands and thousands and thousands of them. Uh, so the question is, you know, which are, which of, of, of all the pages that somebody might like, which are the ones, okay, that really tell us that they are buyers, okay, that they really are going to buy from us? Because it's very easy just to click around on Facebook and like this and like that. It doesn't necessarily mean that they are of interest to us as a target audience. Okay, so let's think about the buyers first. Now, a like does not equal a buyer. Now, I wanna use the example of Labradors here to hopefully illustrate this. Now, I like Labradors, okay? I might have liked a page on Facebook at some point uh, to do with Labradors, I have no idea. Um, but I don't own one, yeah? I like Labradors, most people love dogs. You know, I love Labradors when I see them, I'm quite happy to have them show up in my Facebook page, whatever but I don't own one, and I probably never will own one, sadly. <laughs> so as a result, I'm never going to buy anything related to Labradors, yeah? Um, I'm not even gonna buy dog food. I'm not gonna buy dog bowls. I'm not gonna do anything. I just like Labradors. So how can we find on Facebook the people who, you know, no, don't just like Labradors, but actually own them? So what we can do is also look for other pages that they might like. Now I've put Purina here, which is, if you don't know, is a brand of dog food, okay? Now, if I've liked Labradors and I've also liked Purina, then it's a pretty good chance that I own a own Labrador, right? I mean, I'm unlikely to like a dog food page <laughs> unless I've actually got a dog, yeah? So there are certain things that will tell me uh, or tell us, excuse me, on Facebook whether somebody really does own uh, a dog or not. There's another one that I use quite a lot, which is called BarkBox. Now, BarkBox is one of these um, one of these sort of uh, subscription delivery services where you sign up and uh, dog owners sign up, um, and every month they deliver to you a, a box of all kinds of goodies for your dog. Right? It's kind of a fun concept. It's very popular. Great business. Um, Again, if I've liked BarkBox and I've liked Perina and I've liked Labradors, then we start to see probably a profile of person that genuinely has a dog, you know, that genuinely has a Labrador, let's say. And now I can present to them in my adverts my Labrador pendant, for example, whatever, right? Now I'm talking much more to the right people. I'm using my ad spend much more wisely. So, you know, take that concept with any of the products you have and think about what it is that would genuinely uh, confirm, if you like, that they really do, um, you know, own a dog or do this activity or whatever it is, might, you know, whatever it might be. Have a really good thing. Take your products and, and just, you know, use what I've taught you just there to, to think about the, the types of people that are really going to buy your products, the ones that you can really target. And we'll, when we get into the Facebook ads and we're not far away now, you're going to see exactly how this works. Now, the other thing to think about are the communities. Now, communities don't necessarily 
to my mind, they're useful, but it's not a uh, complete confirmation um, that they have um, a dog. So again, I love Labradors. I just made that up. I'm sure there is one called I love Labradors and I heart Labradors and I everything Labradors, right? You'll, you'll find it, I guarantee it, somewhere out there on Facebook. So, you know, I repeat myself, but just because I, you know, have liked a page called I love Labradors doesn't necessarily mean I have a Labrador. Um, but Labrador Rescue, yeah, there's a lot of rescue dog pages, for example, on, on uh, Facebook. Now, if I've liked a rescue page, that is far more confirmation, really, that I, you know, I'm, I like Labradors. I'm, I'm, I'm passionate about them. I want to, you know, save them. I'm, 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 I'm much more involved in, in, um, you know, as a Labrador person. <laughs> Not explaining it brilliantly, but do you see what I mean? I've gone from I love Labradors, which is just kind of some random yes, I love them, whatever, to Labrador Rescue. Somebody who's genuinely engaged with them, wants to help them, wants to save them, is probably involved you know, in that whole group of people on Facebook where they can, you know, find owners for them and all that kind of stuff. So that, again, suddenly, I've got somebody who's genuinely passionate now about Labradors. And I talk about Labrador Rescue. And I can use that target audience for my Labrador uh, pendant. So I hope that's clear. Uh, you know, take, again, take what I've done there. Perhaps go back to the Audience Insights tool um you know spend some time clicking around on all those different pages and try to find the buyers and the communities that that relate the best to your product